Today I'm going to show you how to press out the main bushing on a trailing arm of the Volvo 240. This will cover 1975 to 1993 and it's a fairly simple job and to make the tool that is required it's fairly simple and fairly easy. Here we have the press that is made to push the sleeve and the bushing out and the reason you need this is because the bushing is actually set in the axle and you're not going to be able to pull this axle out and use a press on it. So we needed to build a little makeshift press to push the bushing out with ease and um, not damage the axle, the little ears that are on the um, axle that I'll show you just in a minute here. All right, I have the press somewhat apart here. Just wanted to show you a few of the parts. Uh, my local hardware source did not have all of the parts that I wanted to use and I wanted to make a little bit nicer press, but this is what I had to make work and most likely your hardware stores are going to have the same problem because it seems that the big chains in America have killed any kind of uh, specialty things and they just sell stuff that you most likely won't need. So, the things they did have that you definitely will need is this is a 2 inch pipe coupler. Now they did not have a 2 inch pipe plug which you see here. So I had to use a reducer which actually worked in my advantage pretty well. Um, as you can see to the inside here we have all this space that you can press the bushing into. Now this is a two inch to one and a half inch and what I did here is I welded it together. This is a piece of cast, a piece of a machine galvanized um, pipe coupler here. And I did not use a pipe coupler inside because I wanted that bushing to slip up in there nice and easy. Now, if they do have a 2 inch pipe cap, you don't need to do any welding. You just need to take this, this uh, 2 inch pipe coupler and you need to put a uh, 2 inch pipe cap in there and drill a half inch hole, like I've done here, to put your half inch bolt in. So, you do not need to do any welding, but for this purpose I needed to. Alright, the other end here, this is a washer, half inch washer that is welded into an inner uh, bearing race, uh, most likely a strut. And what I do with this is you put it on the end, um, on the opposite side of the, uh, of the bushing. Place this washer in it. Then you place this nut on the other side and, of course, screw it on. And this should slip right through there. And press that bushing and sleeve right out. This right here is a half inch bolt. And depending on, depending on whether you use a 2 inch pipe plug or if you have to get a reducer and weld it together, that will determine your length. Just remember you need enough on the end here to place this piece, the end piece that's going to press it out and have enough to thread on this nut right here. Right here we have a kit that is sold by IPD. Um, they compile these sleeves and bushings, polyurethane bushings from Super Pro polyurethane bushings. These are great bushings. I definitely highly recommend them. You can buy the original Volvo bushing which is right here but I would say to go ahead and go with the polyurethane. They're going to last a lot longer. They're going to give you more of a positive feel. Just better all around. Alright here we have the parts of the kit. These are two piece bushing kit. Um, these two pieces will go inside of one of these sleeves. You have your grease to help you slip everything together and it will help the wear and help these polyurethanes last a lot longer. You have your center piece that once you put these two together, you press them in. And I'll show you all of that when we go to putting it together. All right, here you will see I have already pressed out one side. And um, I will show you the other side as I press that out. But I wanted to show you this center piece here that you're going to need so these ears that hold the bushing will not collapse. All it is is a two inch pipe coupler and you're going to want to just about cut that in half, spread it out a little bit, and make sure you can put it in those two ears right there. So when you go to pressing out the uh, bushing here, you will not collapse those ears and damage them because that will not be too much of an easy fix. Aero coil or just coil out of a can is some wonderful stuff. I definitely recommend you picking up some, although PB Blaster or even WD-40 would be good as well. Um, nice little trick is to go ahead and spray the um, sleeves down overnight and uh, let it sit and it will make your life a lot easier as well 
when going to pull these out. Don't forget to put your little support here so you don't collapse these two ears. All right, after a little bit of persuasion, you'll be able to start pressing it out. As you can see, it is pressing the bushing slowly but surely out of the axle here. And it will release. You have no more tension on it. It's important to choose something on the, the end there that'll slide through these eyes so you can get a full stroke on getting the um, bushing out here. Once you've gotten to the end here, you'll it'll lose tension and it should just pull right out. See, there you go. And you've got your bushing right in there. Unscrew the bolt and pull the uh, stock bushing right out. All right, after you're done getting your, your bushing and sleeve out, you want to take some um, coarse emery cloth right here and kind of run it along the area. You can, you can go with a fine after this if you like. But this will get kind of the grime off and everything, make your life a little bit easier. Or well, a lot easier. All right, go ahead and get your bearing nice and lubed up with the supply of grease. Be as liberal as possible, but save a little bit for your your bushings, your polyurethane bushings in the end. All right, go ahead and set your um, bushing sleeve in place here and get ready to put the tool on it. All right, I'm already noticing a flaw on my tool. It will take them out with no problem, but you can't necessarily use it backwards because it's too big to fit in between the dust cover and um, when you need to go put the bearing back in the proper way. So I'll show you here what I've got. Ugh. Let's see. I have just got some makeshift pieces. I've used part of the other um, tool, obviously the bolt and the backside for, for pressing here. Um, and basically what you need to do is just reverse the process. Uh, you need to have something that the uh, that is larger that will not press back into these ears, and you just use the same type of the same uh, type of idea. And you can see here, this is the new um, bushing sleeve, and you can see there's a little bit of a taper. It shows you that it needs to go back in towards the outer um, towards the hub, and this is cranking in nice and tight. So I will finish cranking this in and then I'll show you how to insert the bushings. All right, because the uh, press that I made was a little too large to work behind this dust pan here uh, backwards, um, you gotta get a little inventive with um, sockets and other junk that you might have lying around to, to get this to press back in. Um, if I had the time, I'd go ahead and make another tool, which I will, and I'll post a video of, and I'll be offering some for sale at some point in time. Uh, once I get it down. This is kind of just R&D to see what needs to be done to see how I need to make it um, And so I can actually make a professional tool because I got about three or four more 240s that I'll have to be doing this on There's the bushing or oh, I'm sorry. There's the sleeve without the bushings in it Ready to accept the bushings for these before we grease them real quick one side is a taper that will go into the tapered side the other side is flat and square. This will go in the other side. If you try to go vice versa, uh, you'll have to fight with it a lot. All right. The uh, polyurethane will come with this um, polyurethane grease here. And what we want to do is give a liberal coating to uh, the bushing here. All the way around. Save a little bit for the insides. We want that um, insert for the bolt to go in there nice and easy. Tapered side right. in right there. Now we're going to put the other flat side. And all you got to do is stick it in and push it right in. And that's all there is to it. Now we will put the, uh, the center piece in. The center area, the center tube in. Uh, this will allow the bolt to go through it. Um, lube it up nice and good. 
and stick it inside there. All right, we are ready to install the trailing arm now. This is the trailing arm here, and um, right here is where the main bushing attaches to. Uh, there is one more bushing in here that I will be making a video on how to press that out and put a new one in. Hope you enjoyed the video, and um, if you have any questions, please leave some comments. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And I hope this helped you out somewhat on um, how to press out the main trailing arm bushing and to uh, press new ones in, at least with the polyurethane.